So you might be trying to figure out how you can add updates inside of RPCS3. Now, this is actually a fairly basic process and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and find the game that you want, that you basically want to go ahead and essentially, you know, get an update from. So in this case, you can see I have this particular game right here. So once you have it, all you're going to want to do is click on the side of here. You basically want to double tap into it, just right click into it. And you want to go ahead and click on copy info at the bottom. And you want to go and copy serial. So we want to get the serial number associated with this particular game. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is we want to make our way over to discord.com. And this actually, this whole entire link will be linked down in the description. So just click on the first link down there and it'll take you right into this particular website. So now when you're on this particular website, all you're going to want to do here is you want to go and basically copy whatever this PSN check update little panel is here. So you want to basically type that in. So you want to type that in, you want to do exclamation point PSN check update. And I'll also link this in the description too. So you just copy that. And then you want to input your particular serial number. So that serial number you just copied, you want to go and paste that there. And if there is an update available, as you can see, there is an update available for me. You can go ahead and download these particular updates. So there's a lot of updates available. You can see there's a lot of these packaged files. So now all you're going to have to do when you go ahead and download one of these files, let's say I just go ahead and download this one. If I just download this particular you know, file right here, what I can do then is I can make my way back into RPCS3 right here. I can then go ahead and drag and drop that new package file we just downloaded from that Discord server. I can then go ahead and download, basically drag and drop it right on top of that game right here. And it will ask me if I want to go and install this package. In this case, I want to click yes. And then it's going to say the following package, either it's going to have an issue or it's not going to have an issue, whatever the case is. But whenever you do that, you want to go ahead and basically do it from there. If you run into issues, then we can troubleshoot it further. But that's basically how to do it for the most part. It really is that basic. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.